his first interaction with the prostitute was him just asking her for some water. He didn't he didn't go out of his way to be like, you're a fucking whore, you're gonna burn in hell. He didn't do that. He just said, could you get me some water? Hey, yo, I'm toasted. Ideas. And today, as I was doing the normal thing that everyone else does, which is have a conversation with me, myself, and nobody else in a darkly lit room, I was just, I was thinking about um, uh, Christianity, because I, I am a Christian, or at least I think so. I believe it to be true. And I was just thinking, because you know the whole entire saying of the apple doesn't fall far from the tree. And yet, there isn't a Lord, essentially, like, our, our Heavenly Father, like that whole entire terminology, isn't he our Heavenly Father? So then I ask, how are we not him? Okay, I, I'm way too, I, I should not be playing Pac-Man while trying to make a script here. Cause I'm way too invested in this now. Oh no, I'm dead. Okay, good. That was close. And you know, okay, so you might be asking why did I come up to this topic? And as I said before, I was doing what every normal person does, which I, I had a conversation with me, myself, and nobody else in my darkly lit room. And I, I was wondering, because I, something I see quite commonly in, like, the Christian community or just uh, religious community. Uh, no, Christian community would be better, because I have more knowledge in that, because I am a Christian. Wow, weird. Um, but something I've noticed is how a lot of the community, although we read about the Bible... And we're supposed to be reading it, like, daily and such. I don't, but, um, and we're supposed to be doing that. And uh, we read the Bible, and yet, a lot of people who are Christians do no better, or are no better, than the people who crucified Jesus. Because, what do we see in today's generation? We see, like... People are in the Christian community, we see them like Bible thumping, like calling people sinners or saying that they're going to go to hell and such and stuff. And Jesus didn't do that. Jesus didn't do that. He didn't go and call out to people and say, you're going to burn in hell. He didn't do that. He was graceful with, with what he did. He forgave the people who fucking killed him. And yet, here in today's society, we have people who are outwardly saying that people who do not do what they want them to do are going to hell, burn in hell, going to disintegrate their soul because they're committing sinful acts. You know, like... Christian parents who are against their son being gay or their daughter being lesbian or being trans and then like disowning them like do you think if Jesus had kids he would have done that if he found out they were gay or I mean I don't know if that's even possible but I mean hypothetical do you think he would cuz I don't I he, like, his first interaction with the, with, uh, his first interaction with the prostitute was him just asking her for some water. He didn't, he didn't go out of his way to be like, you're a fucking whore, you're gonna burn in hell. He didn't do that. He just said, could you get me some water? Like, and then nowadays we have people who are out there being like, you're gonna burn in hell and shit like that. But, like, who gives you the right to say that? Who gives you the right to act in that way? Jesus, God's own fucking son, didn't act like that. And yet, here we are, like, crucifying those who Jesus didn't crucify. 
Here we are unforgiving of those who Jesus had forgiven. I would go as far as to say that if our general populace of Christians or religious folk were back in, those, in that era, whatever era, I'm not going to judge what you think the timeline is. If we were to bring our main group back to those times, we would be no better than the people who fucking crucified him. Prove me wrong. Prove me wrong. Prove me wrong that we would not be there crucifying him. Slaughtering the lamb. Tell me we wouldn't be. Or slaughtering the shepherd, technically. Which I, th I think it, it, it's crazy. We have so many people being Bible thumpers. To so many people who act as if the, the Bible is the, the word of Allah. And yet here we have those same people who are doing exactly the opposite of what the Bible talks about. Doing the exact opposite of what had happened. Doing the exact opposite of what Jesus would have done in, this, in the same predicament. Which is then how I got to the point of the apple doesn't fall far from the tree, and yet we still act like our fathers, like our fathers on planet Earth. Why don't we act like our father in heaven, like the first father, perhaps? Why don't we act more like him, but rather we act more like our father in the in present? Why don't we act like our Heavenly Father? And the answer I came up to is that he created Adam and Eve. He didn't, he wasn't actually a father. He's a Heavenly Father. He is the Father of Heaven. But he didn't, he isn't of himself a Father. He is, he is the Creator, or God, or Lord, or whatever you want to use here. That is what the answer I came up to. And I still think I'm right on that. Because that, that makes logical sense to me. But I, I still, I, some, like, one of my biggest gripes within the whole entire religious community nowadays is that we have so many people who are Bible thumping and shit like that. Like, Jesus wouldn't have done that. God didn't do that. I mean, well, uh, eh, debatable on certain circumstances, but God himself, fucking God said he would not flood earth again. And yet we have so many people nowadays saying, I can't wait for the flood. Like, who do you think you are? Who, who do you think you are? So many people who are th who think they're so high and mighty, like they're all of that in a bag of chips, just because they believe in the Bible, even though they don't act like the Bible. They don't they don't preach what they read. They don't they don't take their lessons and go forth with them and do proper with that. Like, sure, there are people who who are in the religious community who do do things properly. But they're very, 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 very far and few in between. Or at least from what I see on the internet as a complete whole. Like, the amount of times I hear of, like, a good kitchen, uh, soup kitchen lady are far outnumbered compared to the times I hear about a Bible-thumping person who uh, disown their child for being gay, disown them for being trans, disown them for not believing in what they believe in, or doing something slightly against them. Like that, I hear stories about that more than I do about the good old kitchen soup lady who's just serving some soup. <clears throat> and I think that's crazy. I think that's crazy. And you know what? I would even go as far to say that you can see what I said about how if we were back then, we would have crucified Jesus. You can even see that in the workings today with, uh, like, for example, Mr. Beast. He is doing wonderful things for people who are in Africa or in any uh, or in other places that he's been in general. He is just a good fucking human being. And what do we see? We see the mass general, or mass, uh, we see an unpopular opinion of many people 
who crucify him for being a white savior or shit like that. Like, what I am saying is literally happening. I... I find it crazy. I find it disappointing. I'm disappointed in a lot of today. I, I don't know if you can tell, but like... We have so many people who... Who read the Bible daily. Who preach the Bible. And yet, we have those same people doing exactly the opposite of Jesus or God. Why can't we act more like them? Why do we, why, why do, I mean, you could, uh, you can sum this up to it being the devil talking, but like, I don't know, we, we are like, we are grown-ups, we are adults, can you not use your brain for understanding what would be the devil talking and what would not be? We have so many people who Bible thump, meanwhile they're actually devil thumping, like, I, I don't know. Anywho, I think that's about done of this rant. Let me know your thoughts in the comments. What What are your thoughts on the Christian community? Do you think that if we were back then, the main general populace of the Christian community or of what we see would be the same people who crucified Jesus? Do you think that? Because I genuinely do. I abso I completely think that I am right on that. Prove me wrong. But while you're down there, hit that subscribe button. Become a fellow bread bag. And also hit that like button so that people who may not have seen this video can see this video. And so that they might also join the bread box. Because once again, we need more bread. But until next time, have a good one.